Welcome back to Snark and Spark. My name is Amelia. Today it's time for another um, empties. So this is my October empties. Turn my light on. Um, I feel like it looks like there's more, but it's just because I had some jars in there. I gotta kind of make this quick. Caden is outside. So if you hear like a thumping, um, that is my child. He is outside playing. <laughs> and of course he is being loud. So, um, his father told him this morning that he has to play outside for about two hours today because he's been naughty in the mornings. So he's currently outside, <laughs> but he has to play for two hours um, outside before he can have screen time today. And so he's outside. Um, <laughs> okay, let's just dive in. So we've got the Nerdy Wax Company. I have What's Your Favorite Scary Movie? This is Freshly Baked Warm Apple Pie. Um, this did not throw very well. And it's very subtle. It's not very strong. I'm good. I don't need it again. This is from Fancy Wax Melts. We've got Saturday Morning Cartoons, Rich Maple Syrup, and Warm Vanilla. My son really liked this. No surprise there. It's really good. I would buy this again. We've got from Nerdy Wax Company. Um, this is from Wally. We've got um, Sweet Grass and Dandelion. I think it's called Earth. Um, to me, it just smells very perfumey. It's okay. I've got another one of these, I'm pretty sure, but I wouldn't necessarily go buy it. Nerdy Wax Company Witch's Brew Mousse, Blackberry Jam, Apple, and Chocolate Cookies. I have multiple of these from their Halloween sale last year. I like bought one myself and then it came in like grab bags and it has like mystery items. I have a bunch of this scent. And it's not a bad scent. Um, I feel like it didn't throw very well in my house, but I took it to work and I melted it at work and it was fine. We've got Nerdy Wax Company, Dr. Facilier. This is from his 12, his Christmas, like villain's Christmas theme last year. Um, this was day 12, powdered sugar fluffy beignets. I'm so sorry, you can hear him. He is currently beating a pile of wood with a stick. Good, but subtle, didn't throw well. Um, and he is allowed to do that. We have like a pile of wood that is old and broken and a random stick. And I was like, you can hit that as long as you don't hit anything else in the yard. But it's obviously a little loud. <laughs> Fantasy Wax Melts. This is Blueberry Cobbler. Um, baked Vanilla and Sweet Blueberries. I feel like this was very strong. Yes, and I didn't really care for the artificial blueberry smell. This is a hand lotion I've had forever. Just a plain... Ultra Healing Jurgens did not have a scent, but I mean, it's fine. I just had it forever and I finally got rid of it. We have the Scar from Ner Nerdy Wax Company. This is also from that Villains Countdown from last Christmas. This was day six, peanut butter sandwiches. If I remember, this was also very subtle and did not really throw. We've got Troll in the Dungeon, which is from the first Harry Potter collection from Fancy Wax Melt, and it is in the scent Oak Moss. I have multiple of these. It's fine. Also very perfumey in that like outdoorsy scent. Also from Fantasy Wax Melt. We've got Tom, Tom Marvolo Riddle. This is from the Chamber of Secrets collection in Coffee Ice Cream. This was really nice. I took this to work and I got a lot of compliments at work for this scent. Yeah, this one was really good. My coworkers really enjoyed this one. It's always fun which ones I know my coworkers like. Here, let me try so I'm not saying all these companies like over and over and over again. I'll just do all of them right at once if it's a certain company. Okay, here's all my fancy wax melts. Boy Band, this is from the 90s collection, Blue Raspberry Slushy. It's really good, It was, but it didn't throw very well. This is Blockbuster, also from that 90s collection. This is Sour Patch Kids. I really liked the smell of this. 
This is Sarah Sanderson from the Hocus Pocus collection last fall in Pumpkin Cookie Crunch. This is a good one. I, have multi I think I had multiple of that because I liked it. And this is April Fresh. And this was in Fresh Cut Grass. I didn't, I don't actually know what collection this is from. I believe I got this as a grab bag. I mean, it smells like grass and I'm okay with that. Okay, we've got a couple standalones here. This is from Villainous Wax. I melted this on Halloween because I love this scent so much. This is Jack-O-Lantern, Charred Pumpkin, Caramel Drizzles, and Freshly Dried Hay. I have this as a sample and as a bar <laughs> because I really, really like it. This is um, L3 Waxing Wonders. This was from their Halloween countdown last year. Um, it's called Vampire's Thirst, and this is Blood Orange's Fizzy Pop Bite Me Strawberry. This was really nice. This threw incredibly well in my house. I really enjoyed this. This is a good one. This is Keyleth. This is a Critical Role, which is a YouTube channel that does, plays Dungeons & Dragons. Um, this is from Starlight Sunrise Shop on Etsy. It just says Woody and Elemental. Did not throw, really didn't get much from it. I've mentioned this every time I do one of them. I'm basically just trying to melt it and use it up. Won't be buying from this company again. Nothing much to say there. This is super old Drizzle Melts um, in Valencia Orange and Grapefruit from Swan Creek Candle Co. I've had this for so long, so I'm really not surprised it really didn't do anything in my house. Um, I feel like I bought this back when I lived in like Pennsylvania, which was many years ago because we've been here for like four or five years now. So yeah. <laughs> and then this is all um, Nerdy Wax Company. This is half the Half Note Jazz Club. Um, I believe this is from Soul, right? I haven't actually seen that one. <laughs> this is Lime, Agave, Fig, and French Lavender. This was really nice. I liked this a lot. I've got a couple of these. This is Jafar from that Halloween count, the Christmas countdown last year. This was day number four. Um, red sangria wine, mint cologne, and sliced apples. Very good. Liked this a lot. Then I feel like, yeah, okay. These three were all part of his Halloween like Disney treats last year. So we have chocolate hazelnut pop tart. This was a bar. It was hazelnut and chocolate cake. Subtle, didn't throw well. Um, caramel apple tart, caramel cheesecake apple and cinnamon. This was really nice. I like this a lot. It did okay in my house, but I still really liked it. And then this is, of course, um, pumpkin cookie, pumpkin spice, and sugar cookies. I like it, but I burned myself out on it because I had a lot of pumpkin stuff last year. I did a lot better with not doing a lot of pumpkin-y things all back-to-back -back this year. Um, but this was good. I melted it at work. It was great. This is from his, like, real food collection. It was, it looked, this is zebra cakes, and it looked like a zebra cake. Fake food, do not eat because it looked so real and smelled so good. Vanilla icing and vanilla pound cake. I know that this was so subtle, it did not throw well in my house, but it did fine at work. And the last from him I have is Easter Bunny. This is from his Easter collection. It was candy cake and Laffy Taffy, carrot cake and Laffy Taffy candy. But it was really subtle, but it was still really nice. I took um, what was left to work with me, and it was fine. And the last one, at least, I have a candle from um, Purple Vertigo Candles. I actually got this in the Fire and Nice subscription box. Um, it was like their September theme, which is like bonfire. This is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. Um, this was really good. I melted this upstairs. I burned this upstairs. I'm just smelling the chard from the lid. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, this is... It smelled really, really good. So, this was a plus. This was a good... Check them out. They are on Etsy at Purple Vertigo Candles. So, um, I believe they own this company and the Fire and Nice, so they always feature their candles in the Fire and Nice box, but the candle on itself, on, on its own, is very, very good.
So that's it. Short and sweet for this video. I will talk to you all very, very soon. In the meantime, um, happy stitching, happy reading, happy watching, happy listening, happy melting, happy, I don't want to say happy burning. That seems really weird, but happy doing whatever it is that makes you happy doing. I will talk to you all very, very soon. Be easy with your hearts.